Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, it's finally time for me to test one of the most popular and most requested GPUs in the channel. This is, of course, the Radeon RX 570. This one that I'm holding is an 8GB model of the card. It's actually the Gigabyte MI version of the card. It's kind of weird because, as you can see there, it says Gaming MI. MI stands for mining, but gaming is gaming, so... Doesn't really make a lot of sense. It still does have all of the ports there, three display ports, one HDMI and one DVI. It still boosts the same as a normal gaming version of the card. Uh, it has the same memory, of course, same clock speed, same power limit, same everything. The only difference that I found so far between this and the normal gaming version is RGB lighting. This one doesn't have any RGB lighting and it doesn't have the fan stop LED right there. And I have played around with mining cards before especially the 570 and uh, they do have some bugs sometimes but not this one this one runs flawlessly as a gaming card so let's just install this in the system and see what it can do in 2020 shall we and here we are everybody we're now in the desktop we have a visitor by the way look at that very beautiful visitor how are you doing this is Nina by the way <laughs> Meow. Oh, well, uh, I wasn't... Oh, come on. All right, seems like we don't have a visitor anymore. Anyways, this is the RX 570, as you can see right here. You can see it in GPU-Z as well. And Radeon settings, 8 gigabyte model again. And I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM. We're just going to overclock it a little bit, okay? Plus 10% on the power limit, 13, 14 megahertz on the core clock, and 2000 megahertz on on the memory clock. Let's apply that. This is a very easy overclock. All right, the first game here today is gonna be Call of Duty Warzone, of course. I'm gonna go over the settings, 1080p resolution with the high settings. Not everything is set to the maximum. It's pretty much everything except this setting right here, the shadow map resolution and these, because I don't really like these effects. All right, we're actually playing plunder mode right now because, um, well, if I die, I can just get back into it instantly. Oh my gosh, so many squads on in the top of this building look at that okay so uh we're not gonna go there obviously we're just gonna try to go to the most demanding street in downtown which is this one hopefully that guy didn't see me uh otherwise i'm probably dead <laughs> but okay okay let's see the fps here uh 56 57 55 oh yep that wasn't a good idea okay so it does drop into the mid 50s not too bad though considering that this is a budget gpu and this is warzone very intensive game and it runs fine like most of the time it's actually gonna get 60 plus fps and on average we're actually at six, uh, 75 right now so that is extremely good for a gpu like this one if you want 60 plus all of the time like even in that little demanding spot you can always drop the settings a little bit of course we're just playing on high because this is a GPU test in which the 570 is still doing a great job. I got one finally. Okay, there we go. Downed another one there. Good stuff. I think, yeah, there's another squad in this direction. We're gonna try to get them. Somebody's getting them all. Maybe our boy there? I'm not sure. Probably not. No, 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 yep, it's not our squad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nope, 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 nope. Let's, let's get out of here. So overall, I wouldn't call this a competitive experience, guys, in Call of Duty Warzone, but it's an extremely smooth and playable one. Always above 60, pretty much like 99% of the time or 98%. All right. Oh boy. Where is he? Where did he go? Oh, maybe he's gone. Yep, probably gone. Okay. Whoa, 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 what the hell is this guy doing? He, I didn't... Uh... All right, my friends, this is Red Dead Redemption 2. We're playing it at 1080p resolution using the uh, balanced preset. This is basically medium settings, medium to high. Some things are on high. A lot of things are on medium, as you can see. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see how it looks. Let's see how it runs. I think it just looks gorgeous with this preset. Even on medium settings, this game looks amazing. Just be sure to keep those textures set to ultra if you have the 8 gigabyte model 
control of this card because it will make a massive difference. That setting is one of the most important ones, I would say, in Red Dead 2. Anyways, let's grab our horse, Roach, as always, <laughs> and let's go to Valentine, which is a demanding little city here, little town uh, in the middle of nowhere, I guess. <laughs> wow, just look at that sunrise right there. You can't really see it, but it looks amazing. Everything looks amazing in this game, guys. It's so gorgeous. It's not even on high settings or ultra settings. It's on medium, and it looks like this. Wow, look at that. This is absolutely amazing. Honestly, I would play this game just for the graphics, just to run around, see the beautiful world around us and explore it, because you can actually get... <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, oh boy, and he's following me and trying to kill me. Uh, it's, it's understandable, it's understandable. Where's my gun, by the way? It's just a game, guys. Remember, it's just a game. Here we are in Valentine, this beautiful morning. Well, Wow, the, the 570 is holding up very well, 59 FPS average there. This is amazing performance for our, for the graphics fidelity that we're having. It's just amazing, my friends. It's just amazing, okay? 50s, uh, I think it might actually drop into the 40s here in this street. Yep, 49 there. Not bad. I would honestly have zero issues playing like this. FPS in the woods are pretty much the same. Low 50s, mid 50s at times, maybe 40s. Yep, this is just as demanding as Valentine right here because of the very dense forest area. But, well, um, what do you want me to say? It doesn't stutter. It's a very smooth experience. It's, it's perfect. Time for Rainbow Six Siege, I'm playing it at 1080p resolution with 90 FOV and the high settings, I just uh, set the render scaling here to 100%, so we're actually at 1080p resolution, everything else is set to the preset, high settings preset, let's go! Right, one weird thing that I've seen here in Rainbow Six Siege is that the GPU usage fluctuates too much on ultra and high settings and not on low and medium for some reason. Um, right now it's actually fine at 99%, but it's something to keep in mind. I've seen that with the 5700 XT, well that's normal because the CPU bottlenecks it, but I've also seen it with the RX 580, which is not that normal for a 3700X to bottleneck that GPU, so I don't think it's a CPU bottleneck. right? now for example 88 percent 85 it's just something with this game that i noticed with various gpus so far all right i think my boys are just dying in this direction what the all's good it's all good it's all good don't really know where he is maybe that way i no that is there is he there i is he here yep there he is oh I got him! Nice! What the heck just happened to the map though? <laughs> Alright, here we go. I started the FPS counting system once again because whenever it switches rounds, well, it, it, we actually get like 1500 FPS in the loading screen. So that would mess up everything. There's a bomb there. Okay. I'm gonna throw this. Buddies, don't, don't you go there. Um, well, alright then. <laughs> So we got the diffuser now, I know that they have a... What? There was a... What? <laughs> 100 FPS average, still pretty decent, guys, after like two minutes of watching the other guy play the game. Yep, yeah, it's, it's holding up very well here at 1080p Ultra. Uh, let's see if this team knows how to pick up some armor. Well, our boy Jave, he can't actually do it. You got armor here, guys! Pick it up! Dude, pick up the armor, good stuff. 10 seconds remaining, and I'm just running around here, gathering some averages, 1% low, seeing the different FPS in different areas of the map. Oh my gosh, my guys are all dead, and I'm here downstairs, just walking around. <laughs> oh man, oh. how are you down? I don't understand, oh my gosh. Okay, buddy, I'm gonna revive you. Whoa! Oh my gosh, seriously. Anyways, that's been it. 100 FPS on average seems to be the average between the three rounds. But what about a very demanding 2020 game? This is Watch Dogs Legion, of course. Very unoptimized game by Ubisoft, but not the worst. That's that's Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it will come. DirectX 12 API, high settings across the board. Okay, I'm just gonna disable motion blur because that sucks, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, all right. We're playing at 1080p resolution, 70 FOV, which is the default value. All right, here we go, friends. Shut up. 
Shut up, robot. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Okay, so it's not bad. I don't really remember how many FPS we got in my uh, standalone test of this game. I tested like low, medium, high, very high, and ultra settings probably. Let's start counting the frames, by the way. But um, wow, th this is this impressed me. Okay, I I don't know if it impressed me back when I tested this game for the first time in the 570. Maybe it didn't because I was used to optimized games. But these days I. I am not because I've been playing a lot of Valhalla or testing a lot of Valhalla. Anyways, just running around the city, you can see 40 something FPS, extremely good. Uh, the graphics look okay, you know, on high settings. I wouldn't really lower them if we're already getting these kinds of frames at high. But of course, if you want a 60 FPS average experience, you can play on low settings. I think that's what we got on low in this game. So. It, 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 good results actually, you know, good results so far. It doesn't stutter whatsoever. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Alright, this game actually has an issue in DirectX 12, which is the water is really intensive for no apparent good reason. So, I'm gonna try to go... Yeah, this is a bridge right here. We're gonna go and see if the FPS still drop near water. And it seems like it still does. Yeah, 30s there. So, um, if you want to play on very high settings, well, be warned because it will probably drop from 30 FPS. You know what? It sucks to see that this issue still hasn't been solved because it's been like this since day one people 28 there it's it drops from 30 maybe play in direct x11 if you want to avoid that the, the problem with the x11 is uh, it stutters a little bit compared to 12 it just baffles me that they haven't fixed it you know, why does it perform well, or at least why does it not drop the FPS near water in the X11 and it does in the X12? I don't really know. Watch Dogs Legion is actually playable, it looks decent. If you want to play this game, you can definitely do so with the 570. And we're now playing some Apex Legends at 1080p resolution, 1920x1080, 110FOV, uh, V-Sync is disabled of course, TSAA, anti-aliasing, high textures, and isotropic filtering is set to 16x, everything else is set to the lowest settings this is how i personally play this game by the way guys i just noticed 2x fans does that mean that this video will give me double the subscribers hopefully it will but it won't <laughs> here we go here we go we got this we got pretty decent weapons we're getting really nice frames considering that this is the most demanding map in this game so far looking in this direction 150 there that is extremely good and looking in this direction this is like the most demanding little point little place in the entire map 80 something so that is really good that's nice Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, the sensitivity was so different when scoped in that far. I don't know why. Maybe I'm not used to this game anymore. Alright, you know what? Let's just throw this and kill the guy. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I got him finally. It took me a while there. Oh boy, there's a guy right there. I know it. He's right behind this thing. Nope, he's on top. Oh, guys, please help. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Come on, guys. The guy must be so low HP. You know what? The graphics are pretty okay with the anti-aliasing enabled and high textures. Like, it does look decent. So, uh, I, I could definitely recommend these settings if you want to play this game with the 570. Alright, so we've been to the most intensive areas in this map. The epicenter and this city. It didn't drop from 60 so far. 67, 1% lows there. It's 3 years old and a budget GPU, but it, it handles everything I throw at it. Speaking of throw, I think I'm gonna throw my ultimate just to see like worst case scenario. It's probably gonna drop from 60 inside of the explosions and stuff, uh, but that's that's completely normal in this game. 68, 66, yep, 40s. We've seen the same thing happening with a GTX 1060, for example. So it's completely normal in Apex Legends. It will drop here and there inside of ultimates and big explosions. Uh, what is what is that? I okay then. Uh, let's just... Yeah, I'm throwing some nades there. Oh, 200 damage. That is insane. This is full of farts everywhere. God damn it, Caustic. Why do you need to do this? All right, let's go in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. 
What is this? My friends, it's time for another very intensive game. This is Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm playing it at 1080p resolution, 80 FOV, 100% resolution scale, of course, using the original settings. These are the same settings as the PS4 and PS4 Pro, I believe. And I'm just gonna disable motion blur. It's, it's smooth and it's actually very playable. As you can see, it's not a 60 FPS experience, but... You don't need a 60 FPS experience. This game was made for the PS4 first, so it runs at 30 FPS on the consoles. And uh, with the 570, you could even increase the settings to like high or ultra and get 30 FPS like the consoles. So if you want the same visual fidelity as those consoles, well, you're gonna get closer to 60 than 30, that's for sure. Oh, the lens flares. It's always so amazing to come back to Horizon Zero Dawn and see these beautiful lens flares flares like look at that looks amazing and you know what else is amazing this game not being very well optimized and the 570 still being able to provide a very good playable uh, result here in this one for example the GTX 1050 Ti which some people like to compare it to this card um, wrongly by the way because the only thing they have in common is the price uh, that card ran at 30 FPS using low settings, I believe, maybe medium. It still dropped into the 20s on medium settings, though, at 1080p. So it just goes to show you the huge difference in FPS coming from a 1050 Ti to a 570. It's actually a decent upgrade coming from that GPU to this. But anyways, uh, Jesus, oh boy, yeah, all right, all right, I'm just jumping around here, not sure what's going on. It doesn't drop from, like, 40 FPS, as you could see there, 43 was the minimum, it's our 1% lows now. Do make sure you have the 8 gig model if you want to play this one, because take a look at that VRAM utilization. It's pretty high. It is finally time for GTA 5, and I won't forget to say hi to Jack this time around, my friends. So we're playing in DirectX 11, 10 resolution FXAA is enabled but MSAA is not if you enable this setting right here you're gonna get like half of the FPS okay so just keep that in mind everything else is basically maxed out except for the grass quality which is set to high instead of very high or ultra and the post effects settings because I don't really like those it introduces some motion blur everything else here yep all right high or very high advanced settings are all turned off I'm gonna start counting the frames Do, should I use that car I I you know what the bad thing about this car is that it doesn't make make any noise so we will hear Michael swearing throughout this video I'm so sorry guys I'm gonna try to, to cut those parts out because well YouTube but as you can see my friends we're getting extremely high FPS here in GTA 5 this is an old title of course it's very well optimized as well and the 570s just has zero trouble running this one if you play GTA online you're probably gonna be CPU bound and that's probably why you're gonna see lower frames because the online mode is just as GPU intensive but way more CPU intensive. As we're testing the GPU, I don't play the online. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on, come on, the brakes on this car are horrible. What the... <laughs> she was just running to... <laughs> Okay, people get out of my way. There we go. Oh boy. Why am I not using this car oh, every time? Like, Jack, I'm coming. I'm coming, my boy. I'm going, Jack. Oh my jeez, dude, this car, this car this is, handles a little bit too well, I think. So grass areas, we're not dropping from 60 FPS because I set the grass quality too high. Oh my god, oh my god, this car sucks. I can't climb this. There he is. There's my boy. Where? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Jack, how are you, my boy? It's been a long time, like two weeks since I haven't seen you. How are you doing? Talk to me. Are you mad at me? I'm gonna get out of the car even, okay? No, not in... Why? No, he's going away. I'm not fast enough. You know what? I, I just enabled a cheat to get this uh, motorcycle here. So we can catch Jack. Where is he? Where is he? I think our boy is gone, guys. I think Jack is mad at me from the other time. Maybe next time... He's gonna forgive us, but not today. I'm 
quite sad about that. So this is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, the new Call of Duty title for 2020. I am playing it at 1080p resolution using the medium settings. As you can see, pretty much everything is set to the middle of the sliders. And uh, yeah, this is it. All right, we're playing Fireteam Dirty Bomb. Uh, what is... What are you doing? <laughs> Seriously, this mode is actually more intensive than the usual multiplayer match because, well, the map is huge in this one, as you can see, and I prefer to play this one because I like it better. So, yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and do this. I think it won't really drop from 60 FPS because I've already tested this game two days ago. I think it's still a very good experience here using the 570, guys. You should have zero issues if you want to play the newer Call of Duty title uh, with the RX 570. 8 gigabytes will come in handy as you can see by the VRAM utilization there it's using up to 5 gigs on medium settings so yeah actually if I increase the texture resolution too high it says that we'd be below 8 gigabytes of usage but the game starts stuttering a little bit so that's why I chose medium there still these are extremely good results for a GPU like this one it's a budget card and it's running the newest Call of Duty at 1080p medium absolutely fine in the most Demanding mode, so it's incredible. The 570 is is amazing, man. I don't know what else to tell you guys. You can run absolutely anything with this GPU. What? What? Oh, they have. I think they have some disabling equipment thing. Dude, God, what? What is it? What is this? Where are they? What the hell? Oh, it stutters every time I die. That might be why the 1% lows are at 52, by the way. I don't really know what to do right now. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, that was an headshot. Probably. No, it wasn't. But okay, we still got him. Okay, there we go. Uh, can I get inside? They're, they're actually planting. Got him. Oh my gosh, what the hell? I think it was the tank was no yeah it was okay oh hello there how are you doing sir all good <laughs> we got this good stuff there's another one there oh boy yeah all right we didn't choose a very good spot to land all right last life for the video my friends here we go I can barely see in this map by the way too many details it doesn't help that my native resolution is 1440p of course that's yeah that that's kind of rough I don't know why this is more intensive than Warzone, to be honest. Um, they they both look very similar. Ha! Ah, gotta love Call of Duty. <laughs> All right, my friends, it is time for Fortnite. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, let's go through the settings right now. 1080p resolution, high settings, 100% resolution scale. DirectX 12 is enabled. And as always, we're gonna go to the Whipping Woods. All right, I'm gonna start counting the frames right now. We're in the Whipping Woods, most GPU intensive area of this map because of all of the foliage around us. Uh, it seems like some people dropped with us, which is not a good thing whatsoever. But our boy, the Wattbot5657, has got our backs, or our fronts in this case. So far so good, I think this is a very smooth experience, still inside of a bush is always pretty demanding, it doesn't drop from 60, so the river seems to be as demanding as the bushes, 65 FPS right there, it doesn't drop too much, you know, it doesn't drop from 60, so that is really good the sun is rising in the sky we can't really see it but we can see the beautiful colors there i really like the improvements they did in the lighting here in fortnite all right let's see this bush again 64 doesn't drop from 60 one percent lows are below 60 but i did not see it drop that far okay oh boy oh it's massive stutter there because he broke the the glass anyways this is lazy lake one of the most intensive areas for your cpu to render this is more of an, a cpu intensive area of course and right now uh, yeah it's, it's getting extremely good frames it's way better than in the whipping woods as you can see i think we're gonna die now yeah all right i'm pretty sure we're gonna die <laughs> All right, we, we can do this though. We can get one of them. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Oh Boy, okay. All right. There he is. There's the oh, I got him. How did I get him? Can I actually get my boy back into the game? That would be ideal. I think uh, Oh, no, okay, I can't 
All right, my friends, we're going to play some CSGO right now because every time I leave it uh, out of the benchmark roster, you guys get mad at me, some of you. So <laughs> here we go. 1920 by 1080 resolution with these settings. All right, here we go. I did unlock our FPS. As you can see, it goes up to like 500 and something when looking at the sky. Yep, there we go. There we go. Pretty good. I'm having a little bit of pink today here in CSGO, which is pretty bad. But let's start counting those frames. Yeah, god damn it. I can buy now. Everything's fine. Should I go with Yop, actually? I I'm gonna try that after I die. Um, okay, so we're doing fine at the moment. As you can see, GPU utilization sometimes hits 99% usage. That's because... Oh, come on. Uh, that's because we're using the anti-aliasing set to four times MSAA. That's pretty intensive. Well, it's the most intensive uh, setting uh, in this game. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. We got this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. Through the crate there. Okay. Well, got him. Like, if you have a GPU, like, mid-range GPU... I got the guy. Mid-range GPU from five years ago. You can actually play this game absolutely fine. You're most likely going to be CPU bound if you don't use anti-aliasing. So, um, yeah, that, that's why I don't usually benchmark CSGO in these cards. But okay. What is happening? They're dying to a Negev. What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a good shot. <laughs> All right. How am I hitting these? I don't even have my good sensitivity. Look at that. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, good. Get over here, my boy. Okay. Okay, that was pretty bad. All right, we got this. There's another one there. We got this and fuck oh, two of them. Okay, this is the lack of 165 hertz right now. Okay, I'm playing at 60 hertz because of the capture card. All right, so this is Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the most demanding game of today's list. This is at 1080p, 100% resolution scale, and we're using the medium settings with a couple of changes. I set the anti-aliasing to low and the textures to high because we do have four, uh, 8 gigs of VRAM. And I disabled motion blur because I don't like it. So here we go, friends. Uh, it seems like so far at least here we can get pretty decent fps i'm gonna start counting them but of course as we approach this little town right here and start to raid it well things are gonna become pretty bad okay so f low 40s already uh will it drop into the 30s though um uh, maybe yep 37 38 Ah, man, okay. <laughs> it's extremely demanding, this game, all right. At least it's still playable. You could still play the game with 30 FPS locked if you want to. Yeah, I don't know if you want that experience. Maybe without the lock in FPS, it's it's a better experience here. Fluctuating between, like, 35 and 55 frames per second. Sometimes this game has a few stutters here and there. I don't know why. I think if you enable V-Sync, the stutters will actually smooth out. But we're not even reaching 60. FPS, so enabling VSync won't really do much. Maybe locking the FPS to 30 will solve that issue. But outside of towns, you can expect around 60 FPS, as you can see there. Not too bad. It's actually kind of smooth. 53 frames per second on average. That is not too bad. The problem is it does drop into the 30s. But it's still playable. Can't really complain about that. Battlefield 5 looking gorgeous right now. I'm gonna go over the settings and uh, we're playing at 1080p resolution and everything's turned off right here because I don't like those effects and we're playing with the high settings oh ouch there's a tank there got the guy oh boy there's a guy right there okay not gonna take that uh, yep this is an enemy tank <laughs> oh boy all right all right uh, there are lots of enemies here in this point okay we got this what should we do guys just throw a nade I I don't know <laughs> Oh boy, okay, it's not gonna do anything. Hi! <laughs> yeah, nice! I know there are enemy squads here. Yep, there's one of them. Okay. You know what? I just wanna hear the ding, so. Ah, yes, satisfying. Whoa, what the? <laughs> what just happened? I was just gonna. <laughs> what? Oh, so close, so close, so close, guys. So close. Let's see. Nope. Oh, yeah! 336 uh, meters away from us. 
Ah, <sighs> okay, so 90, 93 FPS average, 67 1% lows. It's a very playable, very good experience. And here we are, playing PUBG in the wonderful Erangel map. It's been a while since I've played this one in this map. 1080p resolution, high settings, 100% render scale. I'm impressed that the FPS are not dropping while we are dropping from the sky, because uh, it usually does so while everything is rendering in, but... Yep, so far, 70 plus FPS all of the time. That is pretty good. There are a ton of people dropping here. All right, we're gonna go to the top of the church because, well, that's usually what I do here in Erangel. I just go to the top of the church, take a look at beautiful Pochenki, as you can see, and uh, it's not dropping from 60. We got a stutter there because of the yellow text. Also, um, I, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> but VRAM utilization is at 4.6 gigabytes. If you have the 4 gig variant, you might want to stick to medium settings. I think the guy's coming here. Pretty sure. Yeah, he saw us. Oh, yeah, I got him. Nice. I can't really do anything else but appreciate the graphics. I'm not a very good player at this game. <laughs> We're now testing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Let's go over the settings as always. We're testing it at the highest settings preset. I'm just gonna disable motion blur right here and using the 1080p resolution, no anti-aliasing. <laughs> This is very impressive, actually. Average FPS are now above 60, so... Wow! Insane performance coming from the 570 now. It is overclocked, remember that, but it's not really a big overclock. Sometimes you cannot see some 570s to like 1400, 1450 megahertz, I think. Some people have told me at least that they could achieve those clock speeds, so... Uh, you could definitely achieve 60 plus most of the time if you have an overclock like that. So it's amazing. It's amazing what this little card can do. And it's finished. I'm gonna stop it there. 62 FPS average, 46 1% lows. Let's see the actual in-game results because it actually gives us. Uh, there we go. 62 FPS average, the same. And minimum 46. That's exactly what we got. But can it run Crisis Remastered? Let's find out. I'm gonna go over the settings, of course, as usual. 1080p, SMAA, 1TX, anti-aliasing using the medium settings preset with no motion blur. Um, stop breaking all of the trees, please. God damn it. Uh, right, there we go. There we go. Peace and quiet, finally. <laughs> all right. Let's run around here for a little bit. If you set this game to high, it enables ray tracing, so that's really intensive on this GPU, of course. Uh, and you get like 25 to 30 frames per second. But if you play on medium settings, the game still manages to look decent. And uh, you can have... A playable experience like 60 FPS on average almost not too bad is it it seems like it can indeed run crisis absolutely fine uh, it doesn't have a problem C can you die gosh yeah find cover blah 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 suits taking damage I I don't care profit to be honest Prophet, why don't you care about me? Why do you care more about the suit? I know the suit is more valuable, but a human life should be more valuable to you, friend. And uh, let's just explode this car here again. Okay, there we go. Doesn't really drop the FPS when you break cars or uh, explode cars, not break them. Ah, we can't set trees on fire, guys. God damn it, they should have included that. And my friends, it's finally time to conclude this video with the same old question. Do I recommend the RX 570? I swear to God, one of these days I'm probably gonna drop it and break my monitor doing this, but do I recommend the RX 570 in 2020? Of course, I do recommend it. Like, you've seen the results for yourselves. This GPU can still play a lot of new titles. Pretty much everything out there will run on the RX 570. In my opinion, for like 120, 130 bucks for an 8 gig model of this card, that is an insane deal. Deal, brand new of course if you buy it used even better because you can grab this for like 
80 bucks that's insane value it's insane price performance so it's definitely worth a buy for those of you on a budget oh and also guys for those of you that think this consumes a lot of power well it kind of does compare to something like a gtx 1650 but um it's it's older and it's also a little bit faster so i think the 150 watts of power that it consumes is definitely justified by the performance you get in games so thank you very very much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you're still watching well thank you so much you're amazing thanks so much for the support this was a very big video and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed it and maybe subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch you in the next one very soon hopefully love you all Bye bye